Martina Jekyll, I'm a jazz guitar player from Berlin and today I'm going to talk about the tune I Remember You. The tune was written in 1940 and it was written by Victor Scherzinger and Johnny Mercer and he wrote the lyrics and he was in love with Judy Garland but she married another man and he gave her the lyrics the day she got married. And the other story is, um, there's a yodeling, yodeling uh, recording of the tune. I didn't know that because it's not only a jazz uh, standard, it's a country standard as well. And it was a big hit with the yodeling. So you have to listen to it below. Let's do a quick analysis of the chords. I'm going to skip bar two because it's very special. And since I'm skipping it now, I'm going to talk about it very long later. The first chord is an F major 7 chord. I'm playing a voicing with an A in the bass because I like it and I have the E on top which comes in really handy since I can play the melody starting from the E and it's just the tonic. We are in F, F is the key, F major 7 is the chord on the first degree of the scale. Then the next bar, very quickly, two voicings. I keep the E on top and play the B minor 7, E7 below with shell voicings. And I'm going to talk about the chords later. Back to the one chord, it's still the tonic chord. The next two chords, C minor 7, F7. The F7 is a secondary dominant with a two chord. Leading to B flat major 7 is the fourth, fourth degree, right? To B flat minor 7, E flat 7 is the fourth degree again in minor. There's a fourth degree in minor, and you can use either a B flat minor 6 chord or a B flat minor, E flat 7. Both works well. It's no modulation, it's just a four minor chord. And then we have those four chords A minor 7, A flat 7. Minor 7, C7. So the A minor 7 is on the third degree of the scale and it's a very often used substitute for the one chord. Okay, it's just a substituting the one chord so you can think about it as a one. The A flat 7 is just the tritonal substitution of the sixth chord, which is another secondary dominant. And then 2 5 back to F. A part ends with C minor 7, F7, leading again to the 4 chord, no modulation, just a little 2 5 going to the 4 chord. Then an E minor 7, A7, D major 7. That's a modulation. We're modulating to D major 7, and uh, you can try to rem remember you are in the key of F, right? And you're modulating to D. So you can remember that the tune modulates in the bridge up a major 6. So if you have to play it in another key, you will know, okay, where was the other tonal center? It's on the 6th degree, we're playing a 2-5, leading to the 6th degree, and then another modulation leading to the C major chord is 2, 5, 1 and it's just another tonal center, a whole note lower. So you remember modulation up a 6, then going down a whole note and then finally back 2, 5, 1 to the 1 chord, mysterious chords, 1 chord, 2, 5, it's a secondary dominant with a half diminished because it's leading to minor and that's why there's a half diminished chord, second degree of the scale, 4 minor and then again tonic mm -hmm. and then another secondary dominant, one of my favorite dominants, it's a secondary dominant on the second degree and the sharp 11 is always a good idea, well, I would say most of the times on that chord. Going back to another, huh? 1625, you got it. 
I did that research on the tune and the original key is G and in the second bar I found that diminished chord leading back to the G. So let's transpose it to F, it's a little bit easier to explain. So it would be like an F major in the second bar, a diminished chord and then back to the F major. So this is the original uh, version. It's actually a thing that has been done a lot of times. Um, if you're having a tonic chord, you can always try to play a diminished chord with the same root, so with the F. And then you can resolve it to the one chord, which sounds really beautiful and it's just like a suspension. You can think about it as a suspension. I will show you in a second how that diminished chord was converted into a 2-5 progression but for the moment I just want to show you some other tunes where you can use that uh, device which I think is really beautiful. One tune is Misty you could be playing so it's E flat diminished with a major 7 resulting into E flat major with a B flat in the bass Another tune you can use that device is Youth Change. Can you hear the re resolution? And of course, Upper Manhattan Medical Group, you have the same thing. It's in D flat major 7, and Joe Henderson is using the D flat diminished to resolve into the D flat major 7. I remember you if we're having a tonic F major 7 and then the diminished chord F diminished we can think about the diminished chord as a substitute for E7 right because you probably know each diminished chord can substitute a dominant 7th chord and every note that you're playing if you lower it, lower it by a half note will make a dominant 7th chord. In this case I'm only going to lower the F to the A E and I have an E7 chord right and then I need the 2 chord to the E7 chord which would be the B minor 7 E7 and the F major 7 and here we are right and I want to show you two other songs where that device is uh, very well disguised and it's very interesting to know that it's not a 2 5 but it's actually a replacement for the diminished chord one tune is Stella by Starlight. It starts with E half diminished A7. But in the original version, it was many years ago, <laughs> a B flat diminished chord, right? And this diminished chord, B flat diminished, you can think about it as an, a substitute for A7. A7 flat 9. And then we need the two chord which would be an E minor but in this case it's an E half diminished since the secondary dominant the A7 is leading to D minor 7 and it's leading to a minor chord and if a secondary dominant is leading to a minor chord most of the time a half diminished would be used as a two chord. just nice to know that some two fives um, replace a diminished chord and um, since it's giving you the option to use the diminished chord in that place. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or leave a comment below. There's also a newsletter that I'm writing on and off so if you're heading to my website you can subscribe to my newsletter. And see you next week, I'm going to record all the things you are and the week after I'm going to talk about um, the analysis, analysis of all the things you are. I hope you're doing fine. Bye!